Okay, this is Cicada video on how to set crossovers. So the DSP is an interesting device. It gives you all kinds of flexibility. If you're looking at the, looking at this page, you'll see that there's slopes of 6 dB, 12 dB, 24, 36, 48 hike. Now, I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. One of the problems is there's almost too many choices. There are very high, what are called high order filters. This 36 dB and 48 are very high order, sometimes called brick wall. I highly recommend you never use those filters, not that high. Typically, you're going to use 6 and 12 dB. So you'll see that the bright orange channel 1 is lit up. Now that means that whatever you're doing is on channel 1, not on channel 2. So if you look at the bottom, there's a button that says grouping one and two. So let's just say we're actually going to do five and six. Let's say that somehow we built a six channel system, front coax horns, rear coax horns, and some 10 inch subs in the bag. The reason I'm using this example is because it shows you a lot of things that are going on. So let's go to channel five, six. Okay, see how I can light those up? Now go down to the bottom and hit grouping 5 and 6, and we'll hit 5 and 6. So now notice that both 5 and 6 are tied together. So now we're going to make this a subwoofer. So we're going to want to low pass. See how I touched the low pass and it says 12 dB? Now I can make that 6 dB, I can make it 24 dB, I can make it 36, I can make it 48. I recommend 12. So low pass means you're passing low frequencies, not highs. So what we do is we look at the frequency below and 20,000 hertz is pretty damn high. So let's, we can take the slider and we can slide down from that and get close to where we want to go. Or we can tap 1970, a good year, tap into it, cross off that and put in 80 hertz, let's just say, and hit done. So now we've had, we have an 80 hertz, 12 dB per octave, low pass filter on both 5 and 6. So you can see the curve above and it's showing you what's going on. But here's the trick. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to high pass this. In motorcycle audio, especially Hardy Davidson's, you want to high pass everything. I don't care what it is. And even though this is a woofer, high pass it because you're going to crank it up and you're going to blow the shit out of this woofer you don't watch out so let's go to high pass we're going to do 12 db and let's this time pick 60 hertz so we'll tap in now we'll pick 40 hertz and we'll hit done so now we have a 40 to 80 hertz band pass now you may want to make this 35 you may want to make it 38 you may want to do 24 dB. Notice how when I hit 24 dB, how steep it is. If we go to a steeper slope, we can go to a lower frequency. So what we can do is we can tap down and see how it shifts. And we say done. And now it's at 38. So now we've finished the sub. Now let's go to the front channel speakers. Let's go to the fairing. So we're going to go to channel 1. Now see how now only channel 1's highlighted, but they're the same speaker left and right. They're a six and a half inch coax horn. So let's go down below to grouping 1 and 2, tap that, tap 1 and 2, and now 1 and 2 are tagged together. So now coax horns are high sensitivity pro audio drivers. We don't want them to go low. They have 80 to 110 hertz free air resonance. So asking them to go down to 30 is a bad idea. So we're going to high pass, because we're only going to let it pass high frequencies, 12 dB per octave, see how it's highlighted. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross over at, now I can tap it up one frequency at a time, or I can click into it and put 80 and call it a day. I can also make it 24 dB. And again, if I do that steep a slope, I can go a little lower. Does that make sense? Say yes, because I can't hear you. So now I've already done 1 and 2, 5 and 6. Now let's do the rear channels, which are 3 and 4. Now we go back down to the bottom. 
and we hit grouping three and four. Again, see how the band is free. So we want a high pass. It's going to kick in 12 dB. We don't have to use it. I recommend it. And this time, let's say that these are six by nine coax horns. So let's cross them over at 70 hertz. And we're going to cross over at 24 dB. And we're going to say done. So we like this setup and we're going to save it. So we tap the top where it says save. And we can kick it into this. And we can call it Larry's test two setting. And voila. And then we can take it and hit the top right where that little box with the arrow is. Tap that. Now I'm not connected to an amplifier, but if you're connected to an amplifier, it will let you upload it into the EEPROM and burn it. That takes about one minute and then you're done. You, you want to make sure when you're doing these crossover settings that when you're first setting it up, you want to make sure the amp is not connected, at least on the speaker outputs, because you want to preset everything up first, then fire it up, and then you can go in and screw around with it all you want. But in the beginning, I recommend that you preset it up before you go in. So that's it for today.